Hi Aries, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world. So you can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. Right now, I'm going to do a reading for Aries people that uh, what is going on in your love connection right now and what's going to happen in this love connection in the near future. Uh, I'm going to do the basic reading here on YouTube and after that, I'm going to extend this reading to Vimeo. So let's start uh, with the basic reading here. The link of the extended reading is in the description of this video. Okay. Aries love connection. 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 Aries one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the first card in the middle is five of cups. So right now this relationship is not going well for some of you it has ended for some of you it it started and ended and um, it's like um, there is disappointment there is no hope in that uh, uh, right now you don't see any hope in this relationship and uh, it's an energy of uh, sorrow and disappointment before that we have knight of wands so maybe this is an in and out kind of energy like uh, this person comes in your life and then goes out or maybe it's just they came in it started and then it ended uh, something like that in your energy we have four of cups so i don't know uh you feel rejected or uh, maybe you rejected them or they rejected you i think they said no to something you offered them clarify four of cups ace of pentacles yes there was an opportunity uh, somebody offered something in this relationship, a new beginning that, okay, let's start it. Um, and then the other person said, no. So maybe that's you who, who tried to start something with somebody and they did not respond or they said no, or they just didn't do anything about that. So you feel rejected in some way uh yeah in their energy we have eight of wands so maybe they are still communicating with you or they want to communicate with you uh yeah that five eight of wands nine of wands they want to communicate with you but they are guarded uh, they have this guard up uh, and um, yeah, something like that. So they have in their mind that, okay, I should communicate, but then they get guarded and they don't. So maybe for lots of you or for some of you, uh, there is no communication in this situation at this point in time. I'll still clarify this five of cups, clarify five of cups. Queen of Wands. It can be a third party situation for some of you. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's like, um, it's like somebody not uh, like focused on themselves and not giving you what you want. That's what I see here. Now, before we move forward, 
Personal readings are available now for the people living in United States, UK, Europe and Canada. I do these readings on live video call on Skype. So if you are interested in buying a personal reading uh, through Skype app, uh, just add me on Skype and we'll take you from there. The Skype ID is written on the screen right now and it's also in the description of this video. Okay, now moving forward, first we have King of Cups. So again, a person, a person energy, uh, it can be male, female, both, but uh, it's like uh, there is a person in the mix. It's a third party situation. Maybe they are with somebody else or you are with somebody else or you both are with somebody else. And uh, King of Cups is not an action. It's a person or as an energy, it's like um, uh, a very controlled energy. There are feelings, but uh, no action. Clarify, King of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Again, uh, there can be a little bit of, uh, there can be a start again. We have Ace of Cups, so yeah, there can be a start. Uh, there is a chance that there will be a start. But again, we have a person energy here. So there is some third person in the mix. Uh, so, so yeah. And, and after that, we have three of swords. So again, it's a third party situation energy here. So I strongly feel that it's a third party reading. So if it's not resonating with you, you can just click off the video. Don't force the reading to resonate with you. Uh, so if it's a third party situation, then you'll know of it. Uh, and if you don't know about it, then uh, then it's not your message. Uh, so uh, uh, moving forward, I feel something is gonna start, uh, but uh, again, it will be a troubled uh, thing because there will be a third party situation. Let's clarify this three of swords. Clarify three of swords. Okay, look at this. This flew out. I'll take it. Clarify three of swords. This is an important message that flew. Yeah, uh, first uh, we have the, the card that flew out and wanted to come out is Page of Pentacles, which is a very positive energy. Th this, that means that something is going to happen. Uh, initial communication or maybe they'll offer you something but that's not going to be really big because in my opinion and uh, what I feel is that they're not in a position to offer you something big at this point in time and then we have nine of swords anxiety uh, third party with three of swords and uh, uh, again it's like uh, Things are going to happen in the near future, uh, but it's not going to be that smooth. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. Actually, no relationship is perfect, but um, yeah, uh, but I still see things happening here. Um, uh, and again, strong party, uh, strong third party indication, but this page of pentacles uh, gives me some hope uh, and it gives me... Um, some uh, hope for this relationship to move forward. Now I'm going to extend this reading to Vimeo. Uh, in that extended reading, we are just going to see their current feelings, their current thoughts, and their current intentions towards you. So if this reading uh, resonated with you and you are interested, you can also check out uh, the extended reading. The link of the extended reading is in the description of this video. So please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.